Welcome to Christ Supreme Ministry, the House of Restoration. We invite you to worship with us and receive the Spirit-filled message as we hear from the Lord. God bless you as you listen, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. We give God all the glory, honor, and adoration for another grace in his presence. We are here for day four to pray and to seek the face of our God. And I know that the Lord in his mercy will hear us tonight in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. We're going to worship the Lord as we normally do. And I want everybody to please put your mind in it. I want us to worship God from the bottom of our heart. Is indeed our God. The Bible says that we should come before him with an open mind, with a heart of worship. That's all we can render to our God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want everybody to join me in worshiping the King of Kings. Begin to tell him how much you love him. Is the Lord, the King of glory, the Lord, our God, our source, our strength, our all in all is the lord our shield father we lift to high this evening king of kings we worship you ancient of days we adore you we adore you we lift to high we lift to high for you are great you are great you are mighty you are awesome you are perfect you are beautiful you are the essence of our lives father we lift to high lord jesus we worship you Esheo baba thank you for everything Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We worship you. We exalt you. There is none like you. There is no one like you. Thank you, Jesus. Eshe, 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 O, Emashe. Thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Daddy. We thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Daddy. King of kings, we worship you. Ancient of days, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Eshe. Eshe. From the bottom of our heart, we thank you, we bless you, we worship you, the King of glory, we adore you. Eshe-u. Thank you for holding us by your hand and taking us, O oh Lord, to that mountain of excellence, mountain of prevailing. Father, we thank you. Thank you, King of glory. Glory be to you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. I'm pressing on the upward way. New eyes I'm gaining Me every day Still praying as I onward bound Lord plant my feet On higher ground Lord lift me Bye. 
by faith on earth, unstable life. I have learned than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on My heart has no desire to stay where doubts arise and fears dismay. Though some may dwell where those abound, my own prayer, my head. Is ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on earth, unstable. Lord, plant my feet on a ground. I want to live above the world. Though Satan's dad at me a heart for faith has caught that joyful sound, that song of saints on a ground. Lord, lift me. By faith on earth, was stable land. I have plain than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on earth. I want to scale the utmost height and catch a gleam of glory bright. Postule, I'll pray till heaven I found. Lord, plant my feet. On a ground, Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on a stable land. Lord, plant my feet on a ground. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on a Lord, plant my 
my feet on a our desire, O Lord. Plant our feet on higher ground. Lift us high. Establish us up there, O Lord. And let your name alone be glorified in our lives. Thank you, Almighty God. We will exalt your holy name. We appreciate you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we worship. Amen. tonight may the lord almighty god plant our feet on higher ground in the name of jesus let us bow our heads for prayer this evening heavenly father eternal king of glory father we thank you lord for this wonderful opportunity lord to be in your presence again thank you lord father for day one day two day three and today, day four, we thank you, Lord, for the grace so far. Thank you, Lord, for your visitations. Thank you, Lord, for what you have started already. Thank you, Lord, for answered prayer. Thank you, Lord, for everyone, Lord, that you have given opportunity to, Lord, to gather tonight. I pray, Holy Spirit, Divine Father, that our gathering unto you, Lord, shall not be in vain tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, every situation, every matter, Lord, that will be brought before you tonight, Father, Lord, let them receive divine attention, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let every prayer request tonight, Lord, become testimony, Father, in the name of Jesus. Is there anyone here, Lord, Father, that is in this meeting, Lord, that has come into this meeting with burden, with heavy heart? I pray that the mighty hand of God will lift up that burden from you and you shall return home with joy in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit Divine. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. I welcome us tonight in the name of Jesus. I welcome us tonight to day four of our fasting and prayer and I want to thank God for what the Lord has been doing. Uh, since we started there uh, four days ago i want to encourage us please it's never too late send your text or email uh, to your friends uh, let them join us let them join us in the name of jesus so that we will all be blessed in this uh, service hallelujah please turn your bible with me tonight to the book of second kings chapter two that is where uh, we are starting from tonight and our theme of study for these 10 days as we have said from day one is ascending the hills of prevailing encounter ascending the hills of prevailing encounter we shall be reading from the book of second kings chapter 2 from verse 1 to 13 i read and it came to pass when the lord would take up elijah into heaven by a wild wind that elijah went with elisha from gilgal and elijah sent to elisha tarry here i pray thee for the lord has sent me to bethel and elisha said unto him as the lord liveth as thy soul liveth i will not leave thee so they went down to bethel and the sons of the prophet that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said to him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he said, Yea, I know it. Hold your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Jericho. And he said, as the Lord liveth, and as the soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. 
And the sons of the prophet that were at Jericho came to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he answered, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Tarry, I pray thee here, for the Lord sent me to Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And the two went on. Verse 7. And fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood to view afar off. And the two stood by Jordan. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters. And the waters divided hither and thither, so that the two went over on a dry ground. And it came to pass, when they were gone over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee, before I be taken away from thee. And Elisha said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. Verse 10. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I'm taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horse of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by wide wind into heaven. And Elisha saw it and cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. And he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in two pieces. The last verse now. And he took up also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of Jordan. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our hearts tonight in the name of Jesus. I'm sure um, many of us were quite familiar with the encounter of Elisha and Elijah when Elijah was about to be taken up by wild wind by God. And he told a son, a prophet trainee, as at that time, beloved, Elisha was in the school of the prophet. So Elisha was a prophet trainee. So when God was about to take up Elijah by one wind, as we have read, three times Elijah tested Elisha, told him, please stay behind, stay here. In verse 1, that the Lord has sent him to go from Gilgal. And Elisha said, no, I'm going to go with you. And from there, he told him again. They went further. said, the Lord has sent me to Bethel. And he said, we are going together. And the third time, he told him that the Lord has also sent him in verse 5 to go to Jericho. And he said, as the Lord lives and the Spirit lives, I will go with you. I will not leave thee. So we saw this back and forth between his masters. But when we got to verse, the Bible says when Elijah and Elisha got to River Jordan, the bank, Elijah took his mantle and smote the waters and the water divided into two and they went on dry ground. And in verse 9 of that same chapter, verse 9 please, in verse 9, Elijah asked him and said, as they were gone over, over, that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee. And I'm going to pause a little bit. Before Elijah can ask Elisha to ask him whatever he can do for him, before he's been taken up by wild wind, it shows and it confirmed that Elijah had proved, Elijah had proved over and over as tested and examined Elisha and he saw that this guy is determined, is capable, 
is ready to move to the next level of his spiritual upliftment. And he knew that if he can just ask for the right thing, then he will receive it. And Elijah asked Elisha, what do you want me to do for you? He didn't ask for money. He didn't ask for riches. He didn't ask for food. He said, what I want from you, as we have it on board. He said, yes. And Elijah said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. Beloved, this is a very important question. Because as a prophet, as a trainee prophet, in the school of the prophet, it is very important that once you graduate from your teacher, from your master, from the prophet, you too needs to function. You too needs to carry some spiritual, uh, 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 need to carry some uh, anointing, some portion of the spirit upon you. So he asked for the right thing. But in verse 10, what did Elijah say? Elijah told him one thing. He said, wow. Thou hast asked for a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou will see me when I'm being taken up by the wild wind, it shall be so for you. But if you, can, you do not see me when I'm being taken up, that is not going to happen. We know the rest of the story. Elisha saw, saw his, matter, his master being taken up by wild wind and he cried unto him, My master, my master, I can see you. And the Bible says, the mantle that fell from the hand of Elijah. Let's go to verse 11. The mantle that fell from his hand, Elisha took it. Elisha took it when he cried unto him. He said, yes, now I have this mantle. Now I saw my master. What I have asked now has been given unto me. We have covered this in one of our teachings uh, recently, uh, some times ago. And let me say this again. What made Elisha to have double portion of anointing is not in that mantle. Otherwise, that will become idolatry. But it's in his faith that he believed the mantle is just a piece of clothes that prophets or prophets have mantle. So it's not innate. Otherwise, anybody can grab it and begin to walk signs and wonders. So it's not like that. It's not in that mantle. But it's just a confirmation that in our house a status of, of a full prophet, not no longer a prophet training. Hallelujah. And from there, we knew what Elijah did with the mantle. He went to the bank, to the river Jordan. Oh yes, and he smoked Jordan again. And he cried, where is the Lord God of Elijah? And the Bible said, Jordan parted also for him. Beloved, let me say this, that on three occasions, the sons of the prophet, the sons of the prophet, that is, other prophet trainees from Bethel to Jericho to Jordan, they were watching them. And three times they came to Elisha. Do you know that your master is going to be taken away from you today? He said, I know. Keep your peace. Three times without his master telling him. Elijah told him much later in verse 9. But he knew that something was going to happen. That shows that Elijah was spiritually alert. That's why other sons of the prophets too, they were able to also pick the signal that Elijah is going to be taken away. Beloved, without taking much of our time tonight, let me just say this. I have a question. And before we start praying, and we're going to look into it in the five different points. What actually aided Elisha to ask and receive double portion of his master's spirit? What are those things that enabled Elisha to be able to ask the right question and to be able to receive the double portion of of his master's uh, 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 portion. What helped him? And because we are talking about ascending the hills of prevailing encounter. If Elisha could ask Elijah for double portion of his master's uh, uh, spiritual gifting or anointing as you can, we can put it that way. And he got it. How much more? You and I, the children of God, 
if Elisha can receive double portion, that shows that we can receive more than that. How was he able to do it? How was he able to ask the right question and he was able to receive the double portion? Let's look into them. Number one thing that I need to emphasize that helped Elisha to receive the double portion of his master's uh, uh, spiritual portion is understanding. Understanding. I want you to write it down. Elisha had understanding. He understood very well that his position with his master. He understood his position with his master. He was in the school of prophet, like I said the other time. But in his mind, he believed that he has been well trained for him to take over from his master. He had that understanding. That's why he refused to let his master go. Everywhere the master went, he went with him. He said, I can't leave you. I am no longer a novice. I have stayed with you as at that time, as at this incident. Elisha had been with Elijah for more than six years. So he had seen it all. He's been equipped. So he had that understanding that at this crucial time, understanding is very important for anybody that is going to ascend the hills of prevailing encounter you need to understand who you are who are you in the lord do you know your stand in the lord do you know that god almighty god has given us everything that pertains to life and to our well-being do you know your right do you know that you are seated with christ in heavenly places do you know that God has given us a son that whatever we ask in the name of Jesus, it shall be given unto us. Do you understand who you are? Do you know that you are a chosen generation? Do you know that you are a peculiar person in the hand of the Lord? Do you know that the Bible says that what God is about to do with you, for you, in you, and through you? Do you know that eyes have never had it? Neither has it entered into the heart of men. What God had prepared for you. Do you have this understanding? That for your sake and for my sake, that Christ came that we might do greater things in his name. Hallelujah. Having understanding is very important. So he understood in Proverbs chapter 16 verse 22. In Proverbs chapter 16 verse 22. The Bible says understanding is a wellspring of life. To whom who has it? Understanding is the wellspring of life. Unto him that hath it. But the instruction of fools is folly. What is this verse of the Bible telling us in Proverbs? It shows that understanding is the well. It, it is everything. If you have understanding, the Bible says it's like the spring of life. It's like the fountain of life. If you have understanding, you have everything. To him that has understanding, you have the wellspring of life. You have everything. It shows that we cannot do well without understanding, either in our work with God or in the secular world. So he had understanding that his position was unique, that he has been trained, he has been equipped, and is ready and is prepared to move to the next level. Praise the Lord. Number two, number two, that Elisha had that helped him to be able to ask the right question and was able to receive the double portion of his masters. Number two is that Elisha had the right mindset and attitude. The right mindset and attitude. Elisha had the right mindset and attitude. Let me explain this before we go into the Bible. In the mind of Elisha, he saw himself as a son of Elijah. Let me explain this again. Elisha, all the sons of the prophet, many of them, they lived with the prophet for years. So they took care of their master. His well-being, his eating, his dressing, they, they'll be so close. So they will be as if they are uh, biological parents to them. So Elisha understood this. 
So he saw himself. He had the right mindset to believe that he saw himself as a son, a son to Elijah. So with that, he asked him that all I want, I, all I want you to bequeath unto me, all I want you to give to me as inheritance, because I've seen you operate signs and wonder, supernatural thing. I want double of that. Hallelujah. So because he understood his position, he was able to ask. And the same thing is applicable to us. We are the children of Most High. We are children of God. So we should have that confidence and go into him with boldness and go into the presence of God with boldness and ask him whatever we want. If only we believe. The Bible says when we ask anything and we believe and we don't doubt in our mind, it shall be done unto us. So Elisha knew. Elisha saw himself as a child in the house. And what does that mean? In, uh, in the Jewish culture, let's go to the book of Deuteronomy, please. Deuteronomy chapter 21. Deuteronomy chapter 21 from verse 16 to 17. Then I will explain before I read. See, in, in the Jewish culture, if a man has children, the first child is always entitled to double portion of his inheritance. Let me give you an example. If a man has uh, uh, three children, if a man has three children, if the man dies, his inheritance will be divided into four. And the first child will take two portion and the remaining two people will take one, one portion. That is how the culture of the Jew is. Now, in Deuteronomy chapter 21 verse 16, then it shall be when he maketh his sons to inherit that which he had, that he may not make the son of the beloved firstborn before the son of the hated, which is indeed the firstborn. In verse 17 now, let's look at verse 17 of Deuteronomy 21, verse 17. But he shall acknowledge the son of the hated for the firstborn by giving him a double portion of all that he hath, for he is the beginning of his strength, and the right of the firstborn is his. Hallelujah. So, what is uh, what uh, what is this verse? Uh, the verse is telling us: if a man has two wives, if he loves one, and let's say he hated another, or he loves the second wife more than the first wife, or vice versa, that he likes one more than the other now if the man dies and he wants they want to share his inheritance whoever let's say the second wife that he loved lesser was the one that gave him a child first before the other one that he loved he cannot say that because i love this one more than this other i will give double portion to our children no even if he hates this other one and this other one that he hated was the one that gave him the first child. Her son must receive double portion. So Elisha understood that. He saw himself as his son. And that this is an opportunity for him to say, give me double portion. And he got double portion. What else again helped Elisha? Persistency, opportunity, and tenacity. Persistency. Elisha was persistent. He didn't give up. Three times the master told him, please stay here. The Lord has told me to, get, to go to Gilgal. He said, no, I'm not going to leave you. We, we, we saw that in verse 2. Let's go to verse 2, please. He said, stay here. He said, no. Let's go to Genesis, uh, 2 Kings chapter 2. 2 Kings chapter 2. And Elijah said, said unto Elisha, tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord has sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, as the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. Three times like that. We saw that in verse 4. We saw it also in verse 6 because of my time. So he said, no, I'm not going to allow you to go. Everywhere his master went, he policed him. He was close to him. To the extent that the chariot of fire that came had to separate them. 
He was persistent. Beloved, I'm asking us tonight, how persistent are you? How persistent are you? Don't give up. Don't give up. Keep on pressing forward. Keep on keeping on. Trusting the Lord. Knowing fully well that God will not forsake you. He will not forsake you in the name of Jesus. Now the fourth thing that Elisha had was that yes, he was spiritually alert. Spiritual alertness. This season that we are waiting on God, I encourage all of us, let us be sensitive. Be sensitive. When you are reading your Bible, is there any impression in your heart? Is the Lord impressing anything on your heart from the, from the verses of the Bible passages that you have read? When you are meditating, did something drop in your heart? When you are praying, was there anything released unto you? In your sleep, is there any revelation? When you are awake, was there any open vision or closed vision? Was that anything that you think that the Spirit of God is putting onto you? This is the time we need to be very sensitive. Yes, Elijah was sensitive. He was able to pick it in verse 3 and verse 4. When the sons of the prophet in Bethel and Jericho, when they came to him, do you know that your master will be taken from your head today? He said, I know it. He said, but please keep your peace. He was sensitive. I want us to be sensitive. God, our Father, always wants to speak to us. We cannot deny God has not called us to serve him in vain. We cannot deny ourselves without God speaking to us. It is impossible. Be sensitive and it shall be well with us in the name of Jesus. And the last thing to emphasize before we start praying is that Elisha was bold. He was courageous. No wonder the Lord told Joshua after Moses had, been, uh, had gone. The Lord told him in the book of Joshua. The Lord told him, be strong. Be strong. Don't be discouraged. Do not fear. Be strong. So God knows that we need courage. So yes, Elisha was courageous. He was bold. How do we know that he was courageous and he was bold? In verse 14. Let's go to verse 14. You will see the evidence there. In verse 14, Elisha took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the waters and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the water, they departed hither and thither, and Elisha went out, went over. Praise the Lord. If he was not bold, because he hasn't done it before, but he has seen his master do, do it. Maybe several times, but we have said it here that it was done in this chapter. He took it. He didn't say that, oh, oh, I didn't feel, I, I didn't shake. Oh, there was not earthquake. Oh, there was no smoke. Oh, I, I didn't move anyhow. No. He believed that he has received it. Because as soon as his master was taken and he saw him, he believed that, yes, I, I am now a graduate of the school of prophet now i can operate like my master operated so therefore he went to jordan and he smote jordan and said where is the lord god of elijah let god of elijah let him also back me up and the lord backed him up beloved you we know the rest of the story if you go through the bible at least you can see 14 miracles signs and wonders performed by his master and Elisha, we were able to trace 28. So he actually had the double portion. We have this in the Bible there. So he believed. So let me ask us, people of God, we are praying. And after we are done with this fasting, what kind of mindset do you have? Do you have that boldness, that confidence, that trust in the Lord, that the Lord has done it, that you should be, you begin to walk in the consciousness, in the consciousness of the fact that you believe that something has happened. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, blessed are those that believed, though they have not seen anything yet. Do you believe? Do you have that boldness? Are you persistent? Do you have the right mindset? Do you have understanding? This is, these are the facts that helped Elisha. To be able to move, to ascend onto the hills 
of its next uh, spiritual level and it shall be well with you as you apply this unto your life in the name of Jesus. Let us rise up tonight. Let us rise up tonight as we begin to pray. Let us rise up as we are starting our prayers. Let us rise up. Please, I don't want you to sit down. I want you to rise up. I want you to give it all it takes tonight. We want to ascend onto the hills of our prevailing encounter. And we saw how Elisha was able to do that with the, those five guiding principles. Let's go before the Lord. Let's go before. Let, let's begin to thank the Lord. Let's begin to thank the Father. We thank you tonight. Oh yes, for the grace and the opportunity, Lord Almighty God. Oh yes, for the fall, Lord. Thank you for that grace to wait upon you as you begin to pray the prayer in the name of Jesus. Begin to thank the Lord. Begin to thank the Lord. Begin to thank the Lord. Father, we thank you for day four. Thank you for the grace. We appreciate you, Holy Spirit divine, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray like this. Holy Spirit divine. Pray like this. Holy Spirit divine. I glorify your name for the grace to partake of day four fasting and praying program in the name of jesus holy spirit divine i glorify your name oh yes i glorify your name for the grace to partake of the four fasting and praying program thank you for the grace to partake oh glory be to you lord in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen i want you to declare that this double door of god's mercy double door of God's mercy open unto me to reap bountifully from the labor of my prayers and supplication this season in the name of Jesus ask the Lord, ask the Lord, ask the Lord, ask the Lord oh yes in the name of Jesus oh double door of God's mercy open unto me open unto me open unto me and my household to reap bountifully in the name of Jesus I shall reap bountifully from the labor of my prayers and supplication this very season in the name of Jesus double door of God mercy open unto me and my household that we will reap bountifully from the labor of our prayers and supplication in the name of Jesus ask the Lord ask the Lord ask the Lord oh yes ask the Lord there is a door that is called the double door of God mercy that door must be open unto you that door must be open unto you for you to reap bountifully from the labor Labor of your prayers. I pray for somebody tonight. You will not pray in vain. I shall not pray in vain. My household shall not pray in vain. We shall reap bountifully from the labor of our prayers and supplications in the name of Jesus. The Lord will crown our efforts. Oh, yes, Lord, with bountiful harvest and testimony in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit Divine. In Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Let's take the top prayer like this. Say, I tread upon. I tread upon. Spiritual serpent and scorpion. That hindered my ancestors. From ascending the hills of prevailing encounter. I tread upon them in the name of Jesus. I want you to trample upon them. I want you to tread upon them. Trample upon them. Every spiritual serpent and scorpion. Every spiritual serpent and scorpion. That hinder my ancestors. Oh yes from reaching where God wants them to be. Oh yes I trample upon them. Oh yes in the name of Jesus. I tread upon. Oh yes spiritual serpent and scorpion. That hindered my ancestors from ascending the hills of prevailing encounter i trample upon them oh yes in the name of jesus every spiritual serpent and scorpion oh yes that hinder my ancestors oh yes from reaching where god has ordained them to reach i trample upon them 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 oh yes in the name of jesus i trample upon them i trample upon them in the name of Jesus, I trample upon them every spiritual serpent, every spiritual serpent of my household, every spiritual scorpion of my bloodline. Oh, yes, that hindered my ancestors from ascending the hills of prevailing encounter. I tread upon them, I trample upon them, 
in the name of Jesus, trample upon the people of God. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, every spiritual serpent and scorpion that hinder their forefathers from ascending the hills of their breakthrough, from ascending the hills of their destiny, trample upon them in the name of Jesus. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus, mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Pray like this. I break hidden cycle of backwardness silently operating in my household. I break them in the name of Jesus. Break them, break them, break them, break them, break them. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus. If you have been going in a cycle concerning a particular a particular situation, yes you need to break them oh yes break them in the name of jesus break every eating cycle oh yes that's if there's a pattern if there's a pattern that repeats itself oh yes it could be annually it could be perennially it could be uh, twice in the year it could be monthly if there is a pattern that your household is going through and you can see that this is a pattern of backwardness oh yes you need to break that cycle oh yes in the name of jesus oh yes hidden cycle of backwardness silently operating in my house in the name of Jesus be broken be broken be broken be broken break 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 command them let them break let them break circle of backwardness circle of stagnation oh yes in the name of Jesus be broken be broken circle of lack oh yes in the name of Jesus be broken be broken be broken circle of of poverty be broken be broken be broken oh yes in the name of Jesus oh yes circle of barrenness be broken be broken, be broken. Cycle of delay. Be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Begin to mention them. Mention them as it suits your situation. Oh yes, cycle of financial lack. Oh yes, be broken. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus. Cycle of mediocrity. Be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Cycle of hatred and rejection. Be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Cycle of failure. Be broken, be broken, be broken. Cycle of infirmity and sickness. Be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Cycle of sorrow and pain. Be broken, be broken. Cycle of disappointment. Be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. I break every cycle of backwardness silently operating in my household. Let them be broken in the name of Lord the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, they are broken. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to declare this. Cry unto the Lord. Say, by authority in the name of Jesus. By the authority in the name of Jesus, I destroy powers erecting stumbling blocks on my path to enduring victory. I destroy them now. Destroy them in the name of Jesus. Oh, by the authority in the name of Jesus, I have been given a name that at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow, every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. So therefore, I decree in the name of Jesus, oh yes, I destroy every power, personality, erecting stumbling block on my path to enduring victory. Oh yes, I destroy them destroy them destroy them oh yes in the name of jesus destroy them destroy them destroy them in the name of jesus destroy them destroy them destroy them oh yes in the name of jesus destroy them destroy them destroy them oh yes in the name of jesus destroy them destroy them destroy them in the name of jesus thank you holy spirit divine in jesus mighty name they are all destroyed amen Hallelujah. Let us declare this. Spiritual Goliath. Spiritual Goliath. Waging war against me. At the place of prayer. I cut off your head. With the sword of the spirit. In the name of Jesus. I want us to address that. Spiritual Goliath. Preventing me from praying the way I ought to pray. Spiritual Goliath. At Attacking me at my place of prayer, spiritual Goliath, hindering my prayers from getting to home, to the throne of mercy, spiritual Goliath, fighting me with sleep during prayer, spiritual Goliath, fighting me with the 
distraction at the place of prayer. Spiritual Goliath, deny me the opportunity to pray. I cut off your head now with the sword of the spirit. Begin to mention them. Oh yes, spiritual Goliath is very real. It discourages people. It hinders their prayer. It doesn't allow them to pray. Every spiritual Goliath waging war against me at the place of prayer. I cut off your head with the sword of the spirit. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, I cut off your head. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, I cut off your head. Every spiritual Goliath hindering me or waging war against me at my place of prayer. In the name of Jesus, I cut off your head. Cut off his head now by the sword of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, every spiritual Goliath attempting to distract or to hinder my prayer. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, I cut off your head oh yes with the sword of the spirit in the name of jesus spiritual goliath oh yes silently waging war against me at my place of prayer your time is up i cut off your head with the sword of the spirit in the name of jesus thank you holy spirit divine in jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen. Number seven, please. Hallelujah. I want us to declare like this. Say, root of oppression. Root of oppression. And profitless hard work. Root of oppression. And profitless hard work be roasted by fire of God in the name of Jesus. Every root of oppression and profitless hard work operating in my life be roasted now oh yes in the name of jesus by the living fire of god be roasted be roasted be roasted be roasted be roasted the root of oppression and profitless hard work operating in my calling the root of oppression and profitless hard work operating in my life operating in my household operating in my lineage be roasted by fire of god oh yes in the name of jesus be roasted by fire of god be roasted by fire of god be roasted by fire of god be roasted by fire of god, fire of god. oh yes in the name of jesus be roasted by fire of god be roasted by fire of god in the name of jesus thank you holy spirit divine in jesus mighty name they are roasted amen by the power in the name of jesus by the power in the name of jesus i shall gloriously ascend the hills of my testimonies and divine turn around in the name of jesus by the power in the name of jesus i shall gloriously ascend the hills of my testimony and divine turn around oh yes in the name of jesus i shall ascend i shall ascend oh yes the hills of my spiritual turn around and my testimony oh yes in in the name of Jesus, I shall gloriously ascend the hills of my testimonies and divine turn around. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit divine. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Go before the Lord. I want you to declare that this. Oh, mighty hands of Jehovah. Oh, mighty hands of Jehovah. Lift me and my household above all spiritual flood, causing delay in our effort, in our effort to ascend the hills of prevailing encounter. In the name of Jesus, oh yes, oh yes, declare that, declare that in the name of Jesus, oh mighty hand of Jehovah, oh mighty hand of Jehovah, lift me and my household above all spiritual flood, causing delay in our our efforts to ascend the hills of prevailing encounter. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, declare that, declare that, declare that. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, oh declare that, declare that, declare that. Oh mighty hand of Jehovah, lift me up, Father Lord, and my household above all spiritual flood, causing delay, causing commotion. Oh yes, in our effort to ascend the hills of prevailing encounter. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, lift me up, Father 
Father, Lord, with your mighty hand, Lord, that dwell valiantly, Lord, lift me up, Father, Lord. Oh, yes, lift my generation, Lord. Lift us up, Father, Lord, above every spiritual flood, causing delay in our effort to ascend unto the hills. Oh, yes, unto the hills of our divine encounter. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit divine. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray like this. O earth, O earth, hear the word of the Lord. Keep not back my harvest and release my overdue fruits of endless thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus, O earth, O earth, hear the word of the Lord. Keep not back my harvest and release my overdue fruits of endless thanksgiving. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, of endless thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus, oh yes, in the name of Jesus, oh art, oh art, hear the word of the Lord. Keep not back my harvest and release my overdue fruits of endless fruits of endless thanksgiving in the name of jesus release the fruit of my endless thanksgiving in the name of jesus oh art oh art hear the word of the lord keep not back my harvest and release my overdue fruits of endless thanksgiving in the name of jesus oh yes in the name of jesus Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, O earth, O earth, I call upon you, hear the word of the Lord. Keep not back my harvest and release my overdue fruits of endless thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's take the next one like this. By the grace of God. I shall prevail at my secret place of prayer. Whatever I ask in the name of Jesus, it shall be done unto me. In the name of Jesus, oh yes, declare that by the grace of God, I shall prevail at my secret place of prayer. Whatever I ask in the name of Jesus, it shall be done unto me. It shall be done unto me. In the name of Jesus, whatever I ask the Lord at my secret place of prayer, it shall be done unto me. I want you to declare that in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, at my secret place of prayer, whatever I ask in the name of Jesus, it shall be done unto me. In the name of Jesus, and so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved, don't be tired. We have a few more prayers to go. Hallelujah. I want you to declare this. I want you to declare this. Say, contrary wind blowing against my efforts to ascend the hills of divine encounter. Cease in the name of Jesus. Command them to stop. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, every contrary wind blowing against my effort, every contrary wind blowing against my prayer, every contrary wind blowing against my, my progress, every contrary wind attempting to stop me from ascending to the hills of divine encounter, I command you now, stop in the name of Jesus. Cease your oppression in the name of Jesus. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. According to that order, the Bible says, yes, that there was storm on the sea and the Lord Jesus Christ spoke to the sea and the sea obeyed him. So I key into that and according to that order, I command every contrary wind silently blowing or blowing visibly, I command them to cease their oppression in the name of Jesus. Every contrary wind oh yet that has blown against my generation i say my case is different in the name of jesus cease your oppression now in the name of jesus contrary wind blowing on across the earth affecting people i command you the bible says a thousand shall fall by my side and ten thousand by my right hand side he shall not come near me every contrary wind that bring diseases and infirmity oh yes in the name of jesus cease your oppression you shall not come near me and my household oh yes in the name of jesus oh yes contrary wind blowing against my efforts to ascend the hills of my divine encounter cease your oppression 
in Jesus mighty name deceased amen hallelujah I want you to declare like this satanic strong man satanic strong man assigned to bring down my ladder of progress satanic strong man assigned to bring down my ladder of progress i paralyze your activities over my life in the name of jesus every strong man assigned to bring down my ladder of progress i paralyze your activities over my life i paralyze your activities over my household i paralyze your activities over the church of god i paralyze your activities over christ supreme ministry every satanic strong man assigned to bring down the ladder of progress oh yes in my life i paralyze your activities in the name of jesus paralyze them paralyze them paralyze them paralyze them paralyze them in the name of jesus thank you holy spirit divine in jesus mighty name they are paralyzed amen don't let us be tired we have just about five more prayers and we'll come to an end of day four i want you to go before the lord say i refuse i refuse to be a candidate of failure and frustration can you say that again i refuse to be a candidate of failure and frustration i receive power to ascend unto excellence in the name of jesus declare that declare that declare that people of god i refuse oh yes to be a candidate of failure and frustration i receive power to ascend unto excellence oh yes in the name of jesus father on behalf of my children oh yes in the name of jesus they refuse yes lord on their behalf they refuse to be candidate of failure and frustration oh yes father lord let them receive power lord to ascend unto excellence receive it 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 in the name of jesus oh thank you holy spirit divine in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen father let every adversary of my advancement be confounded and ashamed permanently holy spirit divine let every adversary of my advancement be confounded and ashamed permanently in the name of jesus oh yes 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 in the name of jesus every adversary of my advancement let them be confounded and be ashamed permanently father because the bible said the lord has made an open show oh yes of principalities and power he has made a public spectacle of them oh therefore in the name of jesus oh yes every adversary of my advancement be confounded and be ashamed permanently in the name of jesus oh yes be confounded oh yes be ashamed permanently blessed be the name of the lord in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen declare this people of god i receive fresh anointing to ask and receive i receive fresh anointing to ask and receive to seek and find doors of unlimited praise open unto me in the name of jesus i receive fresh anointing to ask and receive to seek and find doors of unlimited praise open unto me and my household oh yes in the name of jesus this very season father the lord will release unto me new song yes lord unlimited praise in the name of jesus i will sing a new song in the name of jesus i will dance a new dance unto the lord doors of unlimited praise open now open unto me and my household in the name of jesus anointed to ask and receive anointed to seek and find fall upon me now and my household oh yes in the name of jesus anointing to ask and receive i receive it now anointed to seek and find i receive it now doors of unlimited praise open 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 unto me and my household in the name of jesus thank you holy spirit divine in jesus mighty name we have prayed 
Amen. Let's take number 17 like this. After this, we have one more. I want you to declare that this. Say, I shall testify to the goodness of God for me and my household at the end of this fasting and prayer program. I shall testify that the Lord is good to my family. Oh yes, I shall testify of the goodness of God for me and my household at the end of this fasting and prayer in the name of Jesus I shall testify Father Lord to your goodness to your faithfulness concerning me and my household oh yes oh yes at the end of this fasting and praying season Lord I shall testify of your goodness over my life and my household oh yes in the name of Jesus I shall testify of the goodness of the Lord Thank you, Holy Spirit divine. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let's take the last one like this. Hallelujah. I receive uncommon understanding and boldness to approach the throne of grace for supernatural release of generational blessing. In the name of Jesus, I receive uncommon understanding and boldness to approach the throne of grace for supernatural release of generational blessing. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh yes, I come with boldness, Lord, to the throne of mercy so that I can obtain mercy and favor from you. So I receive, Father, uncommon understanding and boldness to approach the throne of grace for supernatural release of generational blessing. Father, I ask generational and enjoy blessing due to me and my household due to me and my household father i receive father i ask and i receive lord in the name of jesus on common understanding and boldness to approach the throne of grace for supernatural enduring generational blessing oh yes i receive them i receive them i receive them i receive them in the name of jesus thank you holy spirit divine in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen praise the Lord hallelujah we want to thank the Lord for what the Lord has given us grace to do tonight uh, today is the end of day four uh, don't let us forget the five guiding principles as we have learned today what made Elisha to be able to ask the right question and he was able to receive the double portion of his master's uh, uh, unction the five guiding principles don't forget that them apply them into your life and just to remind them to remind us number one elisha had understanding he knew he, he was in the presence of his master he knew that he has been well trained equipped also you too you have been well trained equipped god has given us grace he gave us his word he gave us his only begotten son he gave us his name he gave us power he said call upon me on the days of your trouble he said i will hear you and i will show you great and mighty things do you have that understanding of who you are number two thing that elijah had he had the right mindset and attitude the right mindset and attitude what kind of attitude or the right mindset do you have we can fast and pray but our attitude matters if you believe that God is on your side and that things are working for you. It shall be so. Remember, as a man thinketh, thinketh in his heart, so is that man is. Your right attitude, if you think positively, you will receive positively. It shall be well with you in Jesus. Number three, Elisha was persistent. Oh yes, importunity and his tenacity could not be matched. It was matchless. Persistency, be persistent. Don't give up. As we often say in the world, that quitters don't win and winners don't quit. Be persistent. Trust the Lord. Endure. Blessed is he that believed, though he has not seen. Be persistent. Know fully well that God will not forsake you. Shall be well with you in Jesus' name. Number four, Elisha was spiritually alert. This is the time I want you to be alert. And as a child of God, we should walk in the spirit, not in the flesh. We should be filled with the Holy Spirit according to the word of God. So be alert, be sensitive to what the spirit of God is leading you to do. Not to hear. And finally, Elisha was bold. 
He was courageous. He was bold. So I want you to be bold. You are, the, you are a child of God, son of the most high. You are seated with Christ in heavenly places. So why should you be afraid when God is on your side? Who shall you be afraid? Don't be afraid. God is with you as a mighty, terrible one. The Bible says, as many that call upon him, they shall be saved. So you have God on your side. Be bold and operate in that understanding and it shall be well with us in Jesus' name. Tomorrow morning, by the grace of God, and we are going to meet at the same time, at 8 p.m., sorry, tomorrow, 8 p.m., the usual time but on september the second saturday september the second we'll be coming to church by eight uh, by 5 p.m to 8 p.m for confront and conquer keep on inviting your friends ahead of time send the flyer to them confront and conquer is on saturday september the second it's going to be a deliverance service come with expectation and it shall be well with you in jesus name let us pray heavenly father we thank you tonight for the little that we are able to do Thank you, Lord, for sending your word unto us. Thank you, Lord, for giving us understanding. As we go tonight, Father, Lord, let your presence be with us. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, Lord, for what you have done in this uh, four days. And we know that he, you that have started this good work in our life, we know that you will perfect it, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray. Let no one go back home tonight empty-handed in the name of Jesus. At the end of this 10-day fasting and prayer, you have bountiful reason to glorify the name of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord Almighty God will hack into your voice of supplication, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Because you have placed the Lord at your right hand side, I pray for you, therefore, you shall not be moved in the name of Jesus. I said you shall not be moved in the name of Jesus. Every prayer that you have prayed publicly or privately at this season they shall become a sweet smelling savour before the Lord in the name of Jesus thank you Holy Spirit divine in Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen let us share the grace together may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore Amen Surely, God, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. For what the Lord has done tonight, three Jericho wall, pulling down, hallelujah, unto the Lord, one to go. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless you. Have a wonderful night rest. See you tomorrow, same time. God bless you. Thank you for listening to this message. We invite you to visit us at www.christsupreme.ca for more spirit-filled messages and for more information about the church. You can also call us at 647-884-8494. God bless you.